and welcome to your market update and charts of the day for today the 5th of july 2023 hope you're all well on this wednesday mike smith senior analyst at go markets to lead you around what's happening as we enter the midpoint of the asian session of course us markets closed last night for independence day soft lead from europe uh, later on this week we've got jobs data coming out of the us and of course us earnings season starts next week which is worth keeping in the back of your mind us futures near neutral in the asian session asian markets generally down in early trading with the asx down around 0.3 percent european futures are also pointing to a cautious open may open just a little softly and the vix however continues to trade at three year plus lows us dollar index edged higher overnight some follow through in asia so far today Gold edged high yesterday is eyeing 1930, but we do note a little bit of softness today in Asia. Likewise with copper, oil is slightly higher, but still trading mid-range. Bitcoin tested that 31,000 resistance yesterday. But and on the data front, we've got global services PMI due throughout the day. Australian numbers are already out, slightly weaker than expected. European PPI and the FOMC minutes in the middle of the night may have market moving potential, of course. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. It's worth bearing in mind that the US 500 weekly is through the key level of 4,420 and be interesting to see if there's any follow through tonight after the break we had yesterday. If we look at today's chart, you can see we're pretty flat, but we are going to keep an eye on yesterday's high, which was at this 4,458 level, which you notice was also the high from the previous two days. That's going to be a critical level to keep an eye on, one would suspect. In stocks, we still like PLS, Pilbara Minerals Limited. We had a really interesting spike yesterday that ultimately came down and closed just above open. But we can see here we've got a little bit of follow through today. Not dramatically so, but enough to sort of say, right, we're still happy to be over this resistance we broke through at 510 and could potentially make our way back up to that 450 area that we see on the chart there which would represent a short-term gain of around about five percent so one worth keeping an eye on see where it closes towards the back end of the day trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now